All right, so it's been 19 days now since we first started getting these images of the flooding mm -hmm. uh, that's coming out of eastern Kentucky. Still so much rebuilding to be done, and it, it's mm -hmm. really on the front end, right, of yeah. the rebuilding effort and trying to get things yeah. somewhat back to where they once it's were. It's going to be months and years before, it really is. before we get there. So we are hoping to help today with a Kroger donation drive. Gabby and photojournalist Destiny, they're live at Kroger with the details this morning. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Yes, we are here at one of the locations where you all in just a few hours can come and drop off your uh, donations for our drive. But I want to get to some details in regards to an update in eastern Kentucky. What we know so far is that at least 39 uh, people have died in five counties and that there are still two people missing. Uh, people are being sheltered in state parks, churches and community centers. And uh, Governor Bashir wants more to be done. That's why he says he hopes to call a special session of the the state legislature to work on flood relief within the next four weeks. The governor also announced more help is coming to flood victims in eastern Kentucky. FEMA mobile disaster recovery centers have opened new sites in uh, other counties and fixed centers are available in six other counties, including Knott, Clay and Breathitt. It's aimed to help those with less than reliable cell service and also be able to reach the appropriate people who they need to get help. This is a big step. Um, where people know where they can go, where they can talk to people. So if you've gotten a denial letter, don't let it stop there. If you've gotten a denial email, go into the Disaster Recovery Center. Starting today, FEMA will now be able to reach out to applicants through text message, which I know will be very helpful. And take a look here at your screen. These are the details for our donation drive that's happening today in partnership with UPS, Kroger, and Volunteers of America. Starting at 9, you can drop off at Stony Brook, Dixie Highway, Middletown, and Prospect Kroger locations. And the supplies that we're looking for are hand sanitizers, soap, toilet paper, tissues, and wet wipes. Again, this begins at 9 a.m. until 6 p.m. And uh, we're going to have more details on how you can help our neighbors in Eastern Kentucky that's coming up.